Alrighty, let's take a look at this. Let's play this a couple times. Checking your notes. Uh, you are saying you are still working kind of on the second flap, timing and shapes. Uh, Moving to the feet, but not sure if everything happens when it should. And I think the tail needs more work and I could animate the controls and the membranes. All right. And you wonder if you could offset some parts even more. I think overall this is a huge improvement. I feel so much better. Let's see here. I think those are picky notes because it's getting really good. Um, I will probably reduce the amount of overlap in that part of the wing, those membranes there. I would do it more in the tips so that by now-ish, here-ish, let's say, you can have this. Only because um, I think it would feel nice to have just that reversal. And there's not yet, because it's not moving that down so fast yet. So all the wind resistance is not there yet. And by now, there's so much force and so much resistance that it's going to push up more of the wing skin, the membrane. So I think you can just delay that, just that shape, that visual shape from the front. Just a bit more. Offset's already cool. I think you could experiment potentially folding this a bit more. I'm exaggerating here. That's a lot, but just a tad more. Let's see in real time. It's not bad. You can always experiment with one, maybe one just a bit more. This guy just a bit more. I don't know. I'm curious to see breaking that up a bit more. It's cool. I like the speed and the force. That feels really cool. Timing's cool. I think, and you can see this in the side view as well. I would, personally, I would um, I'd be careful <clears throat> with the head. There's a lot of translating back where we're starting to get a bit of a kink here. It's a bit of a break. I would look at more rotations than translations. And then I would delay this move up. So as you go up here by maybe two or three frames, but end up where you have it so that the whole thing is a bit faster right now the head movement is a bit soft it's a bit more all right it's wednesday and it's okay versus if you look at the head kind of a if you just look at the head it could be kind of a just kind of a bit more of a pull up so that you almost have a shape that goes up like this <clears throat> excuse me it's a morning phlegm here. You know, so you have that nice um, line of action in the body. So it's not here and then down and then up. So we're just kind of work on that just a bit more. So it's not so broken. This feels more like a, a lizard. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. <clears throat> and now in the front view, I think you can push the rotations just a tiny bit more and then go a bit more in the translations. And I'm talking, you know, really just pixels, but because he has a great beginning and once you get into those offsets and a bit more organic rotations it's cool yeah and i think having that speed up on the head is going to give it a bit more force how far high are you on those legs the forearm thing is here i guess it's okay it's a little bit wise i would probably bring it a bit lower that can be overall just a bit lower so a you're separating so you don't have a tangent there and I think that's going to help you with this view so that when they're a bit lower, you don't have to bring out those elbows as much and bring them in a bit. With creatures, the more like humans can bring out elbows. I mean, obviously, some of the creatures too, but this, it gets a bit human-y. Although that's a bit more of a <clears throat> note when you see tigers and you know, cat thingies walk. They should bring their elbows in. This just feels a bit high and weird. So if, if we can keep that a bit lower and bring those elbows in. It'll be a bit more creature-like. I'd be careful with stuff like this. Once you're done here with that, and as it goes down, look at the back legs. They feel, there's a linear key right there. 
goes over this way. But it's overall very soft. So by now, they could drop again. You have to imagine that this is in the air. So as it goes up, there's a bit of a drag. And then it brings it back up for the overlap. And then and then it kind of drops again and then tightens. So the muscles tighten so that so that they don't, you know, they're not down here. But right now that lowering is a bit slow. Right there. So that when you do the this section here, one could be a bit lower. So a bit more of an offset and then one drags a bit more. So by dragging one more, you have more of an offset. Yeah, the tail is a bit, I think a bit much. I think how it does its own movement there. The drag here is good. That stuff is kind of cool. I don't mind, but I personally tone it down and add more side to side. So it's not just one axis. Go back here, where is it? Uh, front view. Yeah, stuff like that just feels a bit stiff and you have that, you know, full straight down. So you have, you know, starting having some S shapes in there, S curves. I don't mind the tail not being fully drag overlap and having its own thing, because I mean, it's a massive muscle there. I have no idea, by the way, about dragon anatomy. <laughs> I'm just saying muscle, but. You know, you would assume there's enough force in here to initiate all that movement. I don't mind. I would just tone it down a little bit, especially stuff like this here. Whoop, whoop. But it's cool because it's kind of like a tightening before before this. Let's see the chest. I think you can potentially bring up. The chest a bit more. I know that I'm getting into this type of thingy where it's not like this nice line, but again, just a little bit. Only just so you can go by now, you would have maybe a bit more, just a bit more. So we can, and you get into that a bit sharper, just so we feel that the wings down, it really pushes the chest up. There's so much force activated to do that. That'd be kind of neat. What the timing here? You set the second flap? No, I don't mind. Maybe there's a bit of a longer moment here. Take some frames out of this here. So you can get to that, and that's okay. You can always curve less, just a bit. So there's a clear difference between the first flap. So you have a full-on going down, really going up, and now it's just kind of an adjustment. But if you go... Yeah, here is a bit of a slowdown during those frames. Take some frames out there. It's cool though. So much better. Watch out. And just careful here. Not that it's linear. Oh, this is linear. This is a linear key here. Oh, so this is on your on your loop. So make sure that the loop is syncing up. So you got your uh, wing and head movement happening over one frame here. Boop. Put a linear key there. And then let me see. Toes here. I think this thing has a zoom function. Let me just do, do this. So not looking at wings. I'm just cutting those wings off a bit. I'm just looking at the toes. Do you have anything? Yeah, you do. Tightening of the fingers. Cool. Could probably do a bit more in here. A bit more curled on the tensing. So the stuff that you put in here in the back ones as well could be neat. And you could potentially... Not that I want to unravel all your, your wing animation, but... I say button, I'm saying it anyway. Hold on. Here's what you think if you're up for this. Seems like your wing rotations are like this. It would be interesting if you do down like this. And then a bit more like that. And you know, it's a bit of a more organic figure eight. Could be neat. But if that starts to unravel things, 
that's okay. I know you're just doing this to kind of warm up and get into your other shot, so I don't want to noodle this to death. But if something that you want to explore on your own, just try it out. That's totally fine too. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Nice work. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.